I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an application question where we are going to use implicit derivation on trigonometric functions. The question is find the equation of the tangent line on the curve of cos x plus sine y minus 1 equal to 0 at the point pi by 3, 5 pi by 6. So let's rewrite the equation. It is cos x plus sine y minus 1 equal to 0. Now let me take derivative of the function with respect to x. So we'll differentiate with respect to x, right? That is to say, we'll do d dx of cos x plus d dx of sine y minus d dx of 1 equals to d dx of 0, right? Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Now here we have derivative of sin y, so we could write this as derivative of sin d dy of sin y times dy dx, correct? That is implicit derivation. Derivative of a constant is 0, so we get this equal to 0. Now, derivative of sine y with respect to y will be cos y. So we get sine x plus cos y dy dx equal to 0. We need to find equation of tangent line on the given curve at the given point. So basically, we need to find dy dx at pi by 3, right? That's what we need to find. So let's isolate this. So we can write this as cos y times dy dx equals to sin x or dy dx is sin x over cos y. Since we are given the point, we can always find the values and then the slope. So let's substitute. So we have dy dx. at the given point where x is pi by 3, right? x is pi by 3 and y is 5 pi by 6. So substitute these values. So that should be equal to sine pi by 3 over cos 5 pi by 6, correct? Now, these are special triangles. Uh, let's make one here. Um, Okay, so we are working with pi by 3 and pi by 6, so that is pi by 3, 1, 2, square root 3, this is pi by 6, correct? So let's substitute the values. Now, uh, sine pi by 3, that has to be positive, it is in quadrant 1, right? So pi by 3 sine square root 3 over 2 over cos 5 pi by 6. So let's understand this part also, kind of like this. So when you're talking about cos 5 pi by 6, you are in quadrant 2. So it has to be negative, right? So it will be negative. Pi by 6, square root 3 over 2. So we'll divide by square root 3 over 2, but negative. Do you see that? So that is important to understand. Cos 5 pi by 6, it is in quadrant 2, right? And therefore, it will be negative uh, using the cost rule. Sine pi by 3 is in quadrant 1. It is positive, right? So what you get here is minus 1. So the derivative dy dx at the given point is minus 1. Once you know the derivative, you can write equation of the line as y equals to mx plus b. To find the value of b, we can put the point where x equals to pi by 3, y equals to 5 pi by 6, and m equals to minus 1. So 5 pi by 6 equals to minus x is pi by 3 plus b. Taking this to the left side, we get 5 pi by 6 plus pi by 3 equals to b. 
So B is taking 6 as a common denominator, 5 pi plus 2 pi. So we get this as 7 pi by 6 is okay. Once we know the value of P, we already know what slope is. We can write on the equation of tangent line as y equals to minus x, b value is 7 pi by 6 plus 7 pi by 6, right? So that becomes the equation of tangent line at the given point for this question, right? So that is our answer. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions and you can search more videos of this kind. Anil Kumar trigonometry playlist. Thank you and all the best.